and welcome back to the Women's Football Chat. Today we're going to be talking about the games from this weekend and focusing in on Chelsea versus Manchester United. And the big question, should Mark Skinner be sacked? There's been a lot of talk about Skinner being sacked potentially and we're at the game on Sunday. United fans are very vocal in their disapproval of manager Mark Skinner. So we've already got their opinion. We know they don't particularly like him. We're going to talk about ours. We're going to talk about whether he should go, whether he should stay and who could potentially place him if he was to leave. So, Harry... What do you think of Mark Skinner? I hate him. I don't like him. I think he moans a lot about he things does. that are in his control and doesn't like to work with what he's got and seems like a bit of an all-round knobhead. There's a bit of an arrogance, I think, with Skinner, which just makes him a little bit dislikable. Yeah. I think back to just before the FA Cup final of this year between Chelsea and Manchester United, United lost that final. And in the build-up, he was talking about how Chelsea and Emma Hayes should be fearful of him and, and his United yes, side. And then, then, yeah, they lost in embarrassing fashion. And I think from there, I've just not really liked him. And, he, and even when he loses, he seems to scream, sore loser. Yeah, but let's not. It's not a matter of opinion. It's not whether we like the bloke. It's whether he's good at his job. So let's talk about his time at Manchester United. Then, of course, we'll start with when he came in. So he replaced Casey Stoney in was it 2022, 2021, 2021, I believe. Stoney left. Skinner came in, and that first season was actually decent. They finished fourth. It was not a bad season. And the season after that, until last season, they finished second. Yeah, and actually, it looked like United this season. You know, I know they lost to Leslie Russo, but they did some decent dealing in the transfer market. It looked like they'd push on. That hasn't happened. But I, I was stunned. I've completely forgot the finish second last season. They've been so poor comparatively this campaign. I think a lot of people at the club and that support the club were expecting United to really kick on, push on to fight for the title this season. And yet that hasn't emerged yet. So it's a matter of does that come down to Skinner? Does that come down to recruitment? Where does the buck lie? Overall, though, do you think Skinner at United has been successful? I think so, yeah. I mean, two top four finishes, one European finish, and they bottled that this year. And that's a difference. Yeah. They've gone from a second, you know, best team in the WSL, to, apart from Chelsea, on paper last year. An FA Cup final, Conti Cup semi, I think. Yeah, you know, I believe so. And now this year, they're sitting fourth, you know, already at the Champions League. And... Really, really, they've looked really poor on the pitch. Big players not firing. Heise, yeah. not replaced Russo. Toon's been off the pace. I thought that was a really bad recruitment. Heise's relatively inexperienced, mm. has never played in the WSL and didn't put up a great number of Barcelona, yet United spent, I believe, 200000 on her, mm. which I find remarkable. When you consider that's the same price as Jesse Fleming is leaving Chelsea for, I find it bizarre that they thought Heise for that price was a good deal. And obviously, she hasn't really replaced Alessia Russo. And that is a problem for Manchester United and a problem that needs solving. Is it on Skinner and the tactics that haven't helped Heise adapt? Or were they just too reliant on Russo last season? I think I think everyone, and United fans included, everyone was just hyped about this Toon russo duo that carried United and carried England and all that jazz. Yeah. And realistically, they weren't too far off. And that's why... I mean, United fans are still still want you to act like Russo's still there, that Tuna is still a duo. Yeah. You know, she's not. Heisei's there, and they're just, you know, no one's firing. Heisei's not time. fired. Hinata Miyazawa, who is one of the best performers at the World Cup, hasn't really hit the ground running. Played. Well, yeah, to be Finland fair. Not, 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 Miyazawa's more attacking. I'm thinking of, um... Oh, who am I thinking of? Guerrero? I was thinking of CDM. Doesn't even play for United. Anyway, who do I think? Which defensive fielder? I can't remember now. Anyway, I do, I do think United do need re replacements in the transfer market. The problem is, is that they just spent loads of money. They brought in United yeah. Miyazawa, they brought in Jesse Ferreira, and they've not really seen the result. They brought in Melvin Mallard, who's done quite well when she's played. So again, it feels like, and obviously. They've not had the players, the traditional players haven't really performed particularly well. I mean, Toon's done all right here and there, but as we spoke about in a video a couple of months ago, she didn't really hit the ground running to start the season. She hasn't really kicked on into January. So I think there are some fears still to be alleviated there, whether she'll ever return to her top form. Is it a bit of a Mason Mount type situation? Maybe, yeah. One really strong campaign or two really strong campaigns and then just completely falling apart. So Maybe. that's definitely a fear right now for, for England and for Manchester United. Other problems, they just don't really create chances. They're a bit too poor defensively. If you looked at the Chelsea United game and watched that game, 
what we noticed, what we saw being there, is that there was so much space in the United back line. Chelsea, yeah. I get Chelsea are very good. Chelsea are the best team in the world. Or one of them, at least. Obviously, Barcelona probably, you could say, the best team. Yeah. But Chelsea are very, very good. And, but United should have dealt with that better, regardless. as other teams that have dealt with that better this season that are not of the quality of Manchester United. Yet, Chelsea, they've made it pitch really, really wide, spread the ball really wide, and made it very difficult for United to pass through them. United obviously did get a goal, but that very much came as a consequence of Chelsea messy defending, not because United created yeah. something incredible. So, yeah, and Lauren James, ex Manchester United player, I mean, they were booing her at the start of the game, and yet by the end, all they could do was sit in silence and appreciate a masterclass because a hat trick from their former player, and she was absolutely incredible. But for United. Yeah, I, I can understand frustrations because I don't think I don't rate Skinner too highly. I no. don't think he's one of the top coaches in WSL. Uh, uh, you know, compared to his peers, I would say that is it a uh, Graham Taylor, Manchester yeah. City, isn't it? Jonas Adeval and Emma Hayes are all better. So for me, he's not really in that upper echelon. I think you could even argue we've not seen enough yet of Robert Villaham, but I quite like mm. him. I think it's it's Jones, isn't it, at Liverpool? Matt Beard. Matt Beard, that's it. I want to say um, Matt Jones. But no, Matt Beard, uh, I think he's quite a good coach. I don't think he's as good as Skinner, probably not, but I think he is still a good one coach. Has one of WSL, yeah. And then we've got a Carl Ward as well. I know I have not been great this season, but I still think he's a good coach. So yeah. he's not. I wouldn't really put him up in that top bracket at the moment. I'd say you know he's competing with the likes of Beard and Ward, but... United are carried a little bit by individual performances. There's been a few times, especially last season, where Russo had to carry them for a few games. And this season, it tends to be Ron and Keita Paris done on a few occasions. We've seen Mary up, save them in big occasions, obviously mm. making a lot of saves. So, yeah, well, she wasn't particularly good on, Sun, on Sunday, no. but still a very, very good player. And that doesn't help either. United players keep wanting to leave. Unless she Russo wants to leave to go on something new. She left a side that finished second in the league last season for the side that finished yeah. third. That's unheard of yeah and that's the problem for Manchester United why did she choose to do that the same with Mary Epps she wants to leave the club yeah to join Arsenal who were behind him in the table last season or to join Barcelona which is understandable they're very good but I don't know for me should Mark's going to be sacked I don't think there's a lot saying he he shouldn't be but I don't know I don't know I think the problem is is that I feel like a lot of a lot of this kind of Aussie the performance hasn't been there, but the it, United fans are so fickle, or they're just so petty. Yeah. And it's the same in the men's time. Every time it's going well, it's all happy, all clappy, we're the best thing in the world. Every time it's going wrong, blame the owners, blame the manager. We you know, that Chelsea game, we you know we sat there in the shed end next to United fans. They were singing about Toon, singing about uh, singing about United. You know, even when it was one nil down, one one. Two. As soon as the third goal, as soon as the third Two goal, now, but yeah. oh yeah, sorry. As soon as the third goal went in, it was we are Skinner out. Say we are Skinner out. And I, I do find that weird from both families. I agree with what you're saying, and I think it is a weird parallel that it's carried across both families. I guess a lot of families carry over, don't they? But still, it, it's an interesting observation that. I completely agree. When the players are doing well, they love the players. When the teams are playing well, we love the players. Yeah. But when they're not doing well, it's not the players they have a go at. It's then the manager or in the men's yeah. team, it's it's the owners. And I do find that a little weird. That it's, oh, Ella Toon's incredible. And then when, when they're winning, Ella Toon's incredible. When they're losing, Mark Skinner's crap. That doesn't seem to be fair. When they're winning, they don't ever praise Skinner. So I do I do agree with what you're saying. I think it is a bit of a weird, a weird situation there. Nonetheless, Mark Skinner isn't great. No, I, I think... I think it's also impact... Like, because Emma Hayes, on the touch yeah. line, impacts the team. Same with Eidvow at Arsenal. Same with Taylor having, well, When he's having a nervous breakdown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but you see him. Eidvow, you know, Gareth Taylor, they're all acting on the sideline. Yeah. Skinner sat down for that, that would be my biggest criticism of Mark Skinner he doesn't have that personability no. I, I think is well, the way I phrase it it's the fact that well no I think tactically he's not bad I don't think he's a but, bad I mean, manager I mean, but I mean, within the game he does so even, yeah his, you know, say half an hour is, his adaptability he's, he's, yeah, isn't, isn't too strong I think he's, he's a good manager I think tactically he's shown that he's good yeah. he's took a United side to fourth second and potentially fourth again that's not a bad run they've not 
dropped out of the top four and given the competition that can be quite difficult but he's not very likable for fans he doesn't come across as very likable for mm. players I mean there's got to be a reason that Marriott wants to leave that Bruce has already left that players are disgruntled under his management and they'll lose their fans because that's all they know <laughs> yeah, yeah Honestly, that's the problem the United fans know Russo, Toon and Herbs one that isn't <laughs> even there anymore couldn't even tell you after the team yeah obviously I know there's United fans out there who will know anything about the team but what we know from the support on Sunday is that when they when they subbed right back, Poon and Galton, when and they, yeah, it. when they subbed off their right back, they it was off, like, it's for Evans. That was it, yeah. And didn't react. Not Rivier. But when Toon came was, off, they didn't even clap. I was like, he's clap. Even if you're not going to chant yeah. around him, Toon came off. They applauded Toon. She did nothing for ninety minutes. That's what I, I find a little bit bizarre. But yeah, I do, I do think that it is a bit reactionary from fans, and I wouldn't sack him halfway through the season. But if they get to the end of the year and they haven't climbed back into that top three, they don't have European football, I think questions have to be asked. Depends on the Cups as well. If they're out yeah, the top three yeah. and they're knocked out the FA Cup and Conti Cup, that's where the, um, the hammer might have to fall. The guillotine and heads yeah. start to roll. But <laughs> thanks for the visual demonstration there for all our deaf viewers. But I think that... Yeah, <laughs> they've had a terrible first. <laughs> they've learned nothing and they're just head cut. But... Yeah, I, I think Skinner's obviously a good manager. I don't, I don't know why players don't like him. I, I kind of understand it because we don't, but <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. But it seems that players just not very likable. The question here isn't is Skinner a good manager? We know he's a good manager. Yeah. It's just whether he's going to drive them forwards because United finished second last season. They'd have expected to be at least second again, pushing mm-hmm. for the Premier, pushing for the WSL title. And in the Champions League, they're expected to at least get to the Champions League. Yeah, Proper. They didn't do I that. Think... They got knocked out by Paris FC, who I would say yeah. is an inferior opponent. Yeah. And that's that's odd. Yeah. But, it is. yeah. So not, they got knocked out by PSG. Oh, sorry, yeah. P- yeah. Which, to be fair, but, but equally, they're not having a great but, season. Uh, PSG so. aren't very good. They just no. lost... But the, when they played them, they'd lost Cadadito yeah. Diani. It's pretty much just great to go their own vibes. And yet, United lost to that. So, mm. yeah, I don't know. We're just going to remain... Meant to be seen. If he was to be sacked, where would you look for a replacement? Well, this is the problem. That I think this is their main problem, is that who does replace him? Because Stoney won't come back. No, no she's going to Chelsea. Or why would she come back? They they said yeah. to her if she left the first place. They said for two years ago, and you know, two years ago she won't want to come back. She won't believe. She There's a reason she left. Yeah, exactly, exactly. United don't, don't she have didn't that. Think United could get to the top. Why would she come no. back now? I, they, She's gonna come if she's gonna come out to the other side, it's gonna be to replace. Who play. players are gonna bring back in? Who do you bring back in? Yeah. I, I really don't know. I mean, Laura Harvey's another one linked with the Chelsea job. Is she an option if Maybe. I see Carla Ward's name was thrown in around. It'd be so united. I, I think I think I think Carla Ward would make some sense. I think she's a very good manager, and if she brings Rachel Daly with her But the problem is That's potentially very good. Aaron thinks Villa had a terrible season. Villa are six points off United. Yeah. That's the scenario for Mark Skinner right now. A Villa side who have been labelled as shocking, because they have been shocking, are only two wins behind Skinner's team. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's not mental. great, is it? That's not great. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting one. There's someone... Oh, uh, what what about... Now, <laughs> let's go a bit mental here. Jonathan Goraldes. No. What if they just give him all the money they have at the football club? He'd say no. He wants, he wants to win things. Yeah. Because he's not confirmed anywhere yet, I don't think. No. He, he, but he wants he's going to go America, isn't he? He wants he? to compete at the very highest level. Yeah. United aren't there yet. I mean. But they've got to tempt someone of that calibre, haven't they? They have, they have. Sonia Bonpastor? No, no. That's Definitely a swift not. deny. I think the problem is right now, no one above them is going to drop to their level. No. It's just whether someone like Kyler Ward is going to be good enough to bring them up. Exactly, 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 yeah. exactly that. And for Skinner, what, where's he go? Home. Some time off. Just go though. Just, just, just go home. Has a little. That. Well, he was at. He was down in America, wasn't he? Before this, yeah. I think he was at Portland Thorns. Could he go back? Uh, no. What? But they get him in. A, get him in. A, sorry, Skinner gets it. What am I trying to say? Barcelona. That yeah, would be funny. Neon. Mark give, Skinner. Give Mark Skinner the Barcelona job and just see what happens. Because they crumble. <laughs> be hilarious. Real in the La Liga. It's like that Barcelona war Liga, like yeah. every year. Liga, yeah. Liga F. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice situation. Anyway, Skinner. Right. Here's the question. 
because we've not really answered it because we just keep going we don't like Skinner but if you're completely non-biased yeah com- just judging him based on his talents and his performances should Mark Skinner be sacked no fair enough there we go that's it not yet I would say yes but at the end of the season not yet <laughs> I don't think he'll be sacked anytime soon he'll be sacked one day or maybe he'll leave to join Barcelona. Who knows? Yeah, it's a magical run. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'll be the next England manager, and then we'll all cry. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The, the thing is, it's going to have to. What upgrade? <laughs> Southgate. Get, get the South. <laughs> yeah, the men's team. Yeah. The problem for Skinner is that he has... He left Portland Pons to join United. When he joined United, he should, he should have won a title eventually. Is next season this year to do it? No. Maybe. No. Why not? Because Chelsea couldn't could just have the, the assistant manager and then still win the league. <laughs> but they'll miss Emma Hayes. There's going to be an Chelsea impact. Will. And I think it'll be closer. I think it'll be harder for Chelsea. Problem for United is if anyone's going to topple them, it'll be Manchester City or Arsenal. Yeah. Well, United what, what aren't they, on that level. What if they all have a bad year? You never know. Yeah, Aston Villa or Tottenham or Liverpool. It's probably more likely to be Tottenham than United. Fair enough. I think that's everything covered in this video. I'm sure the conversation will be filled with people putting hashtag Mark Skinner out or hashtag Mark Skinner in. I'm probably Mark Skinner's burner account, but still, I'm sure you guys will have a say, so get involved in the comments down below. If you want to keep watching, go ahead. There'll be a video covering Harry's face right now. Great win for all of us. Go and check that out. But that's everything from us today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.